Hey y'all, Gregor here with a brand new Snap Guide. We got some awesome lists from our friend Pulse Glazer, better known as Snap Judgments Online. They were all pretty fun. One was a destroy list. One was a, I want to think of it like a bounce, but it's more of like a moon girl list with Black Swan. That's the one I ended up going with. I really, really enjoyed it. The other one was like kind of a wombo combo style deck with Scarlet, Spider, and some other stuff. But I felt like it was too telegraphed, like my opponents could tell. I kept getting I kept getting sniped right before I would do a big play. So we ended up going with the Moon Monkey deck. It did all right. Like, I'm not going to say it's the best deck in the world because you really do have to hit the proper play line with it. But it was fun to play. Like, it was legitimately a very fun deck. And I enjoy decks that run Hit Monkey. I'm actually going to try and hit Infinite next season with Bounce. So wish me luck on that. If you haven't, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all the things. So the video is pushed out to more people. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into the deck. MVPs in this list are She-Hulk holding it down. You were floating a lot with this deck. Another MVP up in here is Black Swan, a card that honestly I think is legitimately good. Now as a two cost and three power at three five and on reveal was not worth it. But as an activate as a two three kind of ridiculous kind of slept on it at the moment. Get in on the Black Swan. Black Swan is actually legitimately good now. And then for the last card that we got MVP. Got to give it to Hitmonkey, popping off this little cutie. We got some ridiculously large Hitmonkeys when we got the line right. So let's get into the actual deck here. So this is Big Baby Moon Monkey. I love the name. This deck runs Wasp, Sunspot, Kitty Pride, Rocket Raccoon, Hydra Bob, Titania, Shadow King, Black Swan, Hitmonkey, Hope Summers, Moon Girl, She-Hulk. I had a lot of people asking if I don't have Hydra Bob. If you don't have Hydra Bob, you can put Martyr in there. For your other cards... Hit Monkeys definitely needed. Uh, Hope Summers definitely feels needed as well. Moon Girl for sure. She Hulk for sure. Shadow King also definitely worth being put in here. I feel like most of these you kind of need. If you don't have some of them, you could put in like an Iceman instead. Maybe give you a good on reveal. But the Wasp is there because you get it for free. So you do more moves. So you get Hit Monkey off. Really, the play line that you're looking for within this list is you want to be able to... Usually, you would do on one, put down Kitty Pride if you can. Kitty Pride or like Hydra Bob. Those would be one of the two. Then turn two, Black Swan. If you have Black Swan available, you usually want to hold on to Shadow King. Turn three, you lay down Hope Summers. Turn four, Moon Girl. What you would like to have would be like Sunspot, Hit Monkey, She-Hulk in hand. Those are the cards that give you tons of value. If you have Black Swan down, you activate Black Swan's ability on turn five. And then you play all the one costs for free. You should be able to play basically a one cost She-Hulk. And then you have a hit monkey, maybe two hit monkeys. You get really, really good value if magic, like your opponent plays magic and there's a turn seven. You can skip your entire turn six, get a free She-Hulk. And then you can do like all of your one cost cards in combination with maybe two hit monkeys and a She-Hulk. Big value there, but it is kind of hard to get the line. But yet, overall, this deck was just crazy fun. I enjoyed it. Give it a go. Let me know what you think. I think we're going to hold on to the sunspot. Yo, what's up, Juki? Welcome on in. I think we hold on. I want it. So this is my my thought process, right? Yeah, we go with Martyr. Martyr is a good option. And then we Wasp. I don't even think we need to Wasp, to be honest. I think we just Moon Girl. I can do... I'll get rid of Wasp. You should check out my YouTube guides. Uh, it's Shishin. Um, I have a lot of really, really good tips on my YouTube. A lot of times I see people, you don't retreat enough. Y'all should be retreating more often. Glitch, would you be able to grab one of my, like, tips and trips guides for It's Shishin here? I'm about to juice this up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love my mods. Okay. So this is where we go. Sunspot. Sunspot. Got a wasp. Should have wasped earlier, so I could have gotten more Rocket Raccoons. But you live and learn. We also have Shadow King ready to go, so... Yep, I make a lot of content for, like, people who are new to this game. And just tips and tricks that will make you a better player. Okay, good. Who we getting? Give me Hit Monkey. Give me my Monkey. Yes! Give me my Monkey Man. Okay, we're just gonna float this entire turn. We float this entire turn. That way, if we pull She-Hulk, we get a free She-Hulk. Behold my mighty hand. That could be concerning. If they, they're doing Tribunal. They very well could be doing Tribunal. They haven't snapped yet. So that's why the only reason I'm staying here. On reveals don't go off here. So let's Hydra Bob. We're going to play for basically these two lanes. We're going to play as many cards as we can here. So the Hit Monkey goes off like crazy. So let's Hydra Bob get your butt in here. 
We're going to optimize that. Titania, Wasp, Hit Monkey. There we go. Hopefully this wins. Pushing 20 plus per side. I oh, this am is Tribunal. Iron Man. We're gonna see. I am Iron Man. They could beat 32. Let's go, gamers! Hell yeah! Oh, just with the Sunspot, Hydra Bob, and Hitmonkey. I can't believe we got that, too. Yeah, this is Tribunal. We're playing against Tribunal right now. I have ADHD, okay? I have ADHD. I have a certificate that proves it. I got a certificate. Like, this child has ADHD. I had to repeat the kindergarten. In a game where you need to... F I'm sorry, I know. Talk to the ADHD. I can't help it. I'm also trying to multitask. It's difficult. Hope Summer's Titania, double ramp. Rampin' all day, er day. And we get Clog in there too. That's a ridiculous amount that we get from that. I Do I just play everything? I just play everything so they have nothing. I'm going to be that petty about it. Yes. Thank you, Lokester. I have somebody on my side. We do clog ourselves there. But they literally have nothing that they can play next turn. Unless they top deck a miracle. Oh, and look at that. We're back to being good. Give me... What do I get? I get a Jane Foster and a Wong and an Onslaught and a Kitty Pride and a Hydra Bob. You know, that's perfect. That's all I needed. That's all I wanted. Okay, let's do it like this. Bam, bam, Jane Foster. Call it good there. Opponent snapped. I don't believe you. I do not believe you. Show me what you got because you would have had to top deck whatever you're about to play. I think they're also bluffing here. Maybe it's an Iron Heart. No, it's Iron Man. I am Iron Man. 100% they're bluffing. The bluff did not work, Predator. Not today. Victory. I love that everybody, both people on both sides, were like they're bluffing. There's no shot. There's zero chance. And you all were correct. Okay, after this, we go on to ladder with this list. Imagine we were like the only way that they could have gotten value was if they had Ironheart. Ironheart's the only card that I see that they could have gotten value with their locations. So this is called Big Baby Moon Monkeys. We're playing Big Baby Moon Monkeys, which is just fun to say. I'm going to go Hope Summer's Moon Girl. What I like about this list is like you float a lot with this list. Give me She-Hulk. Give me She-Hulk. Give me She-Hulk. Give me she Give me the She-Hulk. You know, that'll do. That's fine. We'll go hope Making lots of hit monkeys Making lots of one cost cards And making lots of she-hulks Okay, we have a turn seven Yeah, the titania comes right back to us Like that Titania always comes back so I'm okay moon girling here because we're going to get two hit. But so we should get sunspot hit monkey rocket raccoon. Thank you for the turn seven. I do need to be reminded if there's going to be a turn seven because I will not remember. But honestly, the turn seven actually helps us because we can basically float that turn all together with sunspot. What Marvel news did you find? Did you all hear that Marvel is coming? They're doing a Magic the Gathering Marvel collab. That's what I'm hyped for. Okay, we clog ourselves that way. We don't want to do that. 
Spider-Man is coming back to the Macy's Midday Parade. Let's go. Super, Super Saiyan Goku got company. Honestly, I think we just, we just let this ride with the sunspots. And then we do our big play last turn. Like sunspots just eating, living his best life here. We got a Hydra Bob. So we're going to do one really, really big hit monkey. I'm just going to float this entire turn. So this deck. Behold my mighty hand. If we can top deck the free She-Hulk, I will take it. Black Swan a little bit late, but that's fine. So Black Swan is there so you can activate and you get all of these one costs for free. So your perfect play line would be able to do Black Swan, activate, then play two hit monkeys along with all of your free one cost cards. So I'm going to do Hydra Bob, Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon, Hit Monkey. We're only playing for two. Hit Monkey hits. Rocket Raccoon hits, I mean. There's Hit Monkey. And the good news is Titania comes back to our side. There's the Iron Heart I was talking about. Thank you for the follows, y'all. It is appreciated. And with that. The funny part is, is the Ironheart boosted Victory. the Titania there. They gave us a nine power Titania with their play, which is hilarious. I love Titania. She's a little bit tricky to play, but once you understand her, the mind games that you can do, it's so, so good. The biggest reason that I had trouble understanding uh, bounce decks is because you float so often with bounce. And part of me wants to use all of my energy on curve. Titania Goblin will always be top tier. Agreed. I love Titania. So like now, the fact that I'm not playing anything, I'm saving it all for later. I think our first play is just going to be, you scared of Titania? You got to embrace the Titania. You got to embrace it. So we'll do Kitty Pride because we do get some value out of that. Then we'll do Hope Summers. Then we'll start bouncing. So Titania is great in Clog too. I was also scared of her for a while. Embrace the Titania. Embrace it. Okay, so we're thinking Starlight Citadel is going to hit. So we don't know what's going to happen there. If we need to, we can play Wasp into Hope Summers. I do have a good clog deck. Yeah. I'll show it to you after this, lit, uh, after this one. They got a really good hit with that. We're already in for the full amount. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Wasp. I'm going to do... Ooh. There's a thought. There's a thought. Yo, thank you for the game controller, Chuck. Let's... Then bar does move, doesn't it? I'm picking up what you're putting down. I like it. I like it. That's... Dude, give me a meme play. I will do the meme play every time. I don't care if I win or lose. I just want to see the funny meme. Show me the funny meme play. Thank you. They could just clog us right back is the thing. But you know what? I'm fine with it. Kitty pride. We get the She-Hulk. It probably will backfire on us, but still funny meme play. Right? Actually, if we want to do this right, we should do it like this. Bam. Hold on. Gregor's big brain in here. They're going to play something here. I would play. Yes, called it. Yep, we stopped the clog at our end. But we clogged them. I am. Full on, we clogged them. So this is why you, what you want with Titania. I am Iron Man. Oh, hi, baby Iron Mans. I am Iron Man. So I'm going to Shadow King there. You best believe I'm going to Shadow King there. Hard clogged. Kind of hard clogged. What do you mean Shadow King won't do anything? No, but his stats are... He's not normally a 5. He's normally a 0. So all of these become 0. So we can do Shadow King. So what I'm thinking we do... I think I might just float this entire turn. 
I'm tempted just to float. I'm just going to do that single move. I am Iron Man. Oh, look at that. We have two Shadow Kings. Behold my mighty hand. Can they give us those? Okay. So this is where... This is what we do. Shadow King. Let's do She-Hulk, then Shadow King. Then Shadow King. Yeah, I got there. I got there, y'all. Instead, we do She-Hulk. I think that's the best play line, y'all. That's what we're going to find out. No, we win. We win. We can beat that. We're good. Hit monkey saveth the day. So we hope summer's on three. So I looked into it, and if the Dex channel was a forum, you could add tags to Dex. Interesting. I'm going to look into how to do that. Can we convert it? Y'all are smart. Y'all are on the tech side. So this is looking pretty solid. We have the Black Swan. We have Hope Summers. We just need to hit, and we have She-Hulk. If we hit Moon Girl, we're, we're done. Like, it's easy. Okay, y'all. It's happening. It's happening. So we go Moon Girl next turn. Snap. We do have snap conditions here. We got everything we need for the win condition. So we go Moon Girl next turn into Tinker's Workshop. This is definitely snap conditions here. Bam. We float all of next turn. Then we activate Black Swan. So this is where you see the value of Black Swan. Cool. Also, even better. I'm about to juice this up. That's even better for us. We're still going to float. Because we're going to be able to play. Oh, those hit monkeys are going to get so ridiculously big. Okay, this is the wombo combo, y'all. This is the wombo combo. She-Hulk. Actually, the hit monkey's gonna get bigger than that. I don't think it really matters all that much. These hit monkeys are gonna get absolutely massive. That's ridiculous, right? The value there is insane. We're putting down so much power. Thank you, Cardi. Come on, Poseidon, what do you got? Not even gonna stand a chance here. Even with the Titania, doesn't matter. I'm glad I can help a little bit. I'm glad I could help a little bit. 15 power hit monkey, y'all. Victory. Looking, actually looking really solid for our opening hand. We hit our max rewards. What is this week's? Do we get a black mat border? Hope summer goes mid. Yes. Red border works for me. There's definitely a red card that I could put that on. Dude, if we get moon girl, we're snapping. This is looking so good for us. Even better. Okay, friends. Oh, snap. I'm absolutely snapping on that. Because we're going to get two She-Hulks. We're going to get two Hit Monkeys. This is the line. This is the play line, y'all. Yeah, Mondo, that's a real thing. This is looking so good for us. Um, no, Oliver, you don't have to switch your deck. You just have to be good about retreats. That's usually what I see most people who get stuck at a specific point struggle with is knowing when to retreat. Fantastic. We float this entire turn. We activate Black Swan. We have two 612 She-Hulks we're going to drop last turn. Bam. So Hit Monkey's definitely going to go mid. Bam. Because it doesn't really matter the order that you play your Hit Monkeys. Just play all your Hit Monkeys and then play all of your She-Hulks. 
I think that's good for me. I think that's dub right there. That's also ridiculous. I personally only snap when I have win condition in hands. So I don't do turn one snaps. Turn one snaps are usually bluffs. But like, I snapped there because I had win conditions. Victory. Did you see how I had She-Hulk, Hitmonkey, I had Black Swan set up, Hope Summers, and Moon Girl? I knew that was my win condition, so that's why I snapped. That's another thing, is realize what your win conditions are for your deck. Wendy's is like my go-to safe food, but they need to get that Krabby Pant Patty soon. Ever long. Give me Moon Girl. Give me a Moon Girl. Hey, nice Wang Tang. Happy birthday. Dude, Wendy's is just amazing in general. It's like one of my go-to safe foods. Again, we're going to float this turn. Affliction is very strong. Okay, we got a wasp. The games have been pretty good. Uh, we're playing some new lists, so they've been kind of hit and miss, but we've been having a good time. Boom. Okay. Luckily, Sunspot's eating pretty good here. We're going to activate that. We are going to end turn. We got Shadow King ready. And I think I know what they're saving for last. What's nice is we guarantee that Titania comes over. Now, I'm tempted just to hit the Cassandra Nova here. Maybe just the Shadow King alone. Yeah, maybe just the Shadow King alone. And then, like, all of these are free. Also, they have Pryo here. There's no reason to play the Kitty Pride. The Kitty Pride is negative for us. I think they probably win this side. They got a man thing. I knew Hazmat was coming. Hey. We hit him with a casserole. <laughs> Victory. Oh, what are the odds of that? But goal for myself next season is to get infinite with bounce. I will hit infinite with bounce. Let's get Black Swan out now. Craven. They got the Savage Land variant of Craven. Uh, did y'all get the sexy new Craven variant? With uh, where he's like man spreading? You know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't. Okay, I actually hope Summer's here. Just the fear that clog happens. Luckily, we do have Shadow King. So I think we hold on to Shadow King for mid lane. Hmm. That's a good point. When you do that, so think about Hydra bobbing here. And then maybe skipping five. Lots of gold vulture movement going on right now. Hoping to pull that Shadow King. No Shadow King yet. I think we just float the rest. Black Swan. I guess it's really going to come down to do we pull the Shan King, the Shadow King or not. Black Swan is going to let us play all of these last turn. For nothing. Dagger. Silk. Kitty. No Shadow King, but a one cost Hulk is not bad. I'm going for the biggest play I can make. I would do that. Luckily, they don't have a way into this lane outside of that. And then all these are free. They are free 99, baby. There we go. Maximize that value. I see the way. Well, we definitely win that then. We could keep playing this game. We definitely win this.
Let's go, baby. Hell yeah. Victory. Also, Robo is Team Duck as well, so. An early crystal play is interesting. Honestly, this isn't too bad because we have Hope Summers. Also, we're going to do Moon Girl next turn. Mm hmm. And a Mirage. What about you? Are any of y'all Team Destroyer slash Team Armor? Uh, they're on Snap Fan, but you can also find them on Twitter. Hmm, is there a way I can narrow this down like a bunch? So that's what I would like to do. Let's actually do it like this. Bam. Bam. Hopefully we get it down enough to where when I Moon Girl, I also get another Hit Monkey. So that's what I want. I'm Team Free Vary. Exactly. We got Black Swan out. Okay, we can... That's actually huge for us. Show me sun. Oh, no. Oh, this is real bad, y'all. This is real bad. Now, my fear is that we accidentally clog ourselves. The moon girl is so good here. We're not going to we're not going to freak out. So one, two, three, four. We can only hold seven. So I think we need to get Shadow King out as well. So let's do Shadow King here. Moon girl here. Well, I know what copycat copied. I am going to snap on this. Opponent snapped. I love that they snapped on this. Next turn, we're going to float. We're just going to float our entire turn. Oh, I'm going to snap back. Okay, Sal's online too. Very nice. So we blocked that. Basically safe there. Activates Black Swan, ends turn. That's weird because it's going to come right back over to you. You silly. You big old silly. You big old silly. So this is where this deck goes insane. This is where this deck is absolutely absurd because I'm going to be able to. Doesn't matter the order that we put the hit monkeys down. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? These two can hold this lane by themselves, right? We're filled either way. So like Rocket Raccoon, we're going to get better value with it. No, we're not staying. Victory. It's unfortunate. Thank you all for watching to the end. I super appreciate it. We're getting so close to hit that ad revenue milestone. I think we have less than 500 hours left. Thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of this deck. If anything, this is just a really fun deck to play. So I hope you have a good time with it. Hope you're looking forward to the new season coming up. Agent Venom sure to be a ton of fun. But if I do not see you around, remember to take care of yourself. Remember to eat food, drink water, take your meds, get enough sleep, and that the world is better with you in it. Until next time.